Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm standing inside our great room right now and we're getting ready to start a project, kind of moving some stuff out, moving new furniture in. And it's one of the pieces that my mom and I picked up on our recent antiquing day. So I thought it's a cold gray day outside, perfect day to do inside projects. And maybe you guys might like to see where one of those pieces of furniture ended up. So let's just take a quick look. This is the arrangement we just made in a recent video. I've been really enjoying that. We'll do a Christmas tour uh, later on, but this is the corner that we're gonna work on. Aaron's kind of office area. When we first moved into this house, uh, Aaron's desk was upstairs. That's where we put it. He kind of wanted it to be away from kind of the general flow of the house just because it, you know, it can be distracting. Uh, but it ended up down here because it worked with our workflow. It was nice to have him down here. He could see, you know, people coming in and out if people needed help with things. Um, I don't know. It worked for the time, but our house is getting a little bit more loud and chaotic. This the great room is where the kids hang out for the large part of the day. Um, their toy area, we have a cabinet in the other corner where a lot of their toys are. Um, so we are going to move his stuff up to one of our spare bedrooms and create an office. And we're gonna move the sideboard, that antique sideboard I just bought to this corner and I'm going to put house plants on it, probably some Christmas things. So this afternoon, I think we have enough time to get some of the area cleared and then and possibly the sideboard moved in. I'm not sure, it's just gonna be kind of a, a process that goes over the course of a couple days, I think. We're also going to be moving this bookcase because we have a nicer one upstairs, so we're just going to swap them. So there still will be a bookcase, but this has just become a menagerie. So we're going to move everything off of it. I'll put it everything up nicer. You can see we've got curtains here, but not here yet. I've got all the fabric. I just need to make those, but everything. So the file cabinet with the printer, the shredder, all of the office stuff, um, these little bins. What are those? Little file boxes. I don't know. All of this is going to move. And you can see the sideboard is sitting right here. The lamp is there. Anyway, it'll move in. So a little transformation video, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully it's a good transformation. So we're just going to set a camera up and start working. It is the next morning, which is kind of nice to have a little bit more light in here. We got Aaron's desk and all of the stuff surrounding it moved up to the office and got the dresser in place. That's pretty much all we got done last night, but got the floors cleaned a little bit. Um, so it feels good just to kind of start fresh this morning. Have not tackled the bookcase yet. I think I will finish this area first, which means I'm going to be taking down these pictures, putting up new stuff, and then just bringing in a bunch of things. For this area. It's feeling a little bit more fresh though and I'm loving it so far and I'm excited to get going. So here we go. set the mirror hung the pictures up so I wanted to stop and give you a quick update before I continue on and finish up with the Christmas part of it I'm just loving this whole corner so you can see all my cleaning supplies in the ladder and such they're all still out because I'm not done yet and full disclosure these curtains are thumbtacked to the wall <laughs> I don't have them I don't have them done yet and I haven't uh, hung my rods yet it took me forever to source all the fabric for all the windows in here there are six windows so that's 12 panels I have to do three yards per panel because our ceilings are so high um, in this room. Anyway, it took me a really, really long time and my mom and I are actually gonna get together hopefully in the next week or two to get all of the curtain panels sewed and get the rods hung so that <laughs> nothing's thumbtacked to the wall. Uh, but that's just the reality of the situation today. I really wanted to show you what it's going to look like once the curtains are up because that's a huge part that adds a huge textural element uh, to and color element to the space. And the interesting part about it is that the fabric, this is actually the front side of it. That's how it's presented, the cream uh, with the gray damask print. I actually prefer seeing the gray with the cream like that. I mean, it's beautiful either way, but that's the way I'm gonna face them. The mirror looks really pretty right there though. And I do um, intend on doing an arrangement right in here, branches or something like that. I don't know if I'm gonna use that exact container, 
some of these are just kind of like you have to shuffle things around until you like the look of it like the begonia might end up on this pillar instead of this arrangement and that arrangement may go away I might put something different there I don't know it all just kind of needs to evolve I do have a set I just set this here to see if I liked it I have a set of these angels that I've had for years and years that I might do right here I was going to do nutcrackers but I'm not sure um, but I do want to get some kind of a runner I got this one out right here which is really beautiful. Um, I've had this for a lot of years as well, but I feel like I need color over here. Hang on, let me kind of set this. That gives you kind of an idea here. Um, I, I don't know, it is pretty, but I was thinking like red tartan instead to make it a little bit more festive. Let's see what it looks like when the whole thing is on there. It is pretty. I just like to add in as much texture as possible. And I think fabric is a really good and easy way to do that. And this runner in particular has a lot of beautiful things going on, beautiful colors. And I do like to see a little bit of the wood as well. I've always preferred table runners as opposed to full table claws because I do like to see that contrast. I like to see the warmth and the richness of the wood and then the softness that the fabric and usually color that the fabric brings in. So at this point, oh, I did bring in the chair too. That's a new piece as well. I think that looks really pretty. I do need to back it up a little bit though. Hang on. Yeah, I think that that is really pretty right there. I do think though that I'm going to be swapping the buttons, which is really easy because you know, the other side of the cushion has the cream uh, and I would rather these just be the same color as this cushion. I don't want them to show up like they do here. I don't know. I just don't, don't love that as much, but not something I'm going to do right now. I mean, I've got curtains to focus on first. So I'm just going to keep fussing with this area. I don't know how exactly it's going to take shape. And it will change. I mean, right after Christmas, we'll take all the Christmas stuff out and I'll probably move things around and bring in more houseplants and yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna carry on. Look at how beautiful, you guys. So I kind of took it a different direction than I thought I was going to in the beginning, and it was all because I could not find my tartan plaid runner. It's somewhere in this house. I don't know where it is. I actually even texted my mom and I said, it was it you that had the tartan runner? And she said, no, I have the tablecloth, you have the runner. So it's a mystery. And then I used one of the candlesticks or candelabras rather, that my mom and I picked up on an antiquing trip. Isn't that pretty? I didn't clean it. I didn't even think about it. I should probably do that. <laughs> it's been a while though, since I've had that one. And then there's a little concrete pillar. This is from Unique Stone. I have two of these hanging around the house and they're really handy to use in arrangements like this so that you can get differing levels. Now this is the Ivy Topiary I made in a video. Oh my goodness. It must've been like in January or February. No, not January. I had a baby in January, <laughs> probably February or March. I'm guessing of this year that Ivy's doing incredible. So I just moved that from where it was into this display. Same with a lot of this stuff. I already had it. So I have this African violet. It was sitting in, on a different table in here. And then the little gold cherub and then the joy are kind of our Christmas touches here for now, other than that wreath, which I went ahead with a black and gold ribbon. So it just kind of tied in beautifully with everything in this area. And I always like to use books. So I've always got my eye out for books that are a decent price, but very pretty, you know, pretty binding. And then I picked this out of the garden today, you guys, today, like almost Thanksgiving. And we had an, a beautiful Ambridge Rose. This is a David Austin right here. Favorite. I love this one. A couple of artichokes. These are green globes. Winecraft black uh, smoke bush foliage. Dusty Miller foliage. This is Phacelia, our bee's friend. Started from seed, started from seed. I'm really happy. And this is a vase right here um, from Klaus Dalby's collection, actually. He sent that out at the beginning of this year. It's beautiful. Little crown right here. And then this is the lamp that was here. I initially thought I wasn't going to use it because I thought I wanted a brighter shade, but it actually looks really pretty. It kind of is rest for your eye not to have, I mean, there's a lot going on in this area, but if I had like a patterned shade or something lighter, it would stand out. And I think having the black ribbon and the black shade is nice. 
And then a couple of different pillars. I think both of these are from Unique Stone with one with a, a Dracaena on it and one with a beautiful begonia. And then the pictures here are ones that we've just picked up during antiquing trips. This is kind of the flavor of art that I like to put on the walls. Right here is just kind of a beautiful stream or river scene. Same with this one right here. And even though I love the um, picture here, it's like a farmer with cows there. I love the frame. It's just very unique looking. And then in the chair, which I absolutely adore this chair in here, I ended up swapping the pillows out instead of the tartan plaid with the uh, bird with the red berries, went with the bird that looks more yellow, and then joy right there. And you can tell joy is one of my favorite words ever, ever. Now, I did not have time to style the bookcase. You can even see it's starting to get a little bit darker out right now. Um, so I will work on that later, probably at the same time uh, that I work on the mantle here, which I'm gonna take all of this off. And a lot of those books came from this bookcase. And so they'll move back. You can still see my step ladders out. I'm not done quite yet. Right here on this table, which I love, it's like super rickety. So I never put anything really heavy on it, but it's got an English writing scene there. And then um, I put these gold angels, which I've had forever. I'm going to put greens around the base and then a white poinsettia in there as soon as those come in at the store. And I'll show you a closer up look at our Christmas tree when we do our full Christmas tour. I kind of want to show everything all in one fell swoop, but I did put the Santa somewhere. So right here in this corner, this is where I had like walnut trees and I had a bunch of African violets. In fact, African violets, there's three of the I don't know, six or seven, the other three are on another counter. Anyway, those are all gonna go to the studio probably tomorrow. And then I'm gonna be cleaning out these window boxes soon and filling those with greens and such. But um, these right here, these are artificial. These are from Gardener Supply and they're the most real and like feeling and looking greens I have ever used that are actually fake. So they'll be pretty all season long. So you can see the kind of sparkly Christmas trees and they have little, little tiny red berries in there kind of worked into this area, my two Santas. This is actually a toy cupboard for the kids. I bought this cupboard for $50, I think, and there was a TV in it, a TV with a speaker, and I gutted it, and I used it actually with a rod in there. I hung all of my tank tops in there and used it for shoes and tank tops when Aaron and I uh, lived in our townhouse, just as extra closet space. And then when we moved in here and had Benjamin, I just cut a couple of pieces of wood and made shelves so that there's a bookcase in there and there's like puzzles and games and then a basket with cars and, and things. So that there's a place for all of those toys to be kind of shut away. And you can see we have to wrap the bottom of this container because Samantha just wants these. She wants these pine cones bad. So we just wrap it up and she can pull herself up on that pot. It'll be short lived, at least it looks festive. And then I did move the second chair in here uh, with the pillows I originally had on the other side there. I just love these chairs in here. And I can't wait to get curtains done and all of that. Oh, it's just starting to come together. But I love that corner over there, it's so pretty. So we still have some work to do with the bookcase and actually sewing the curtains and things like that but it's all fun stuff. And that is gonna be it for today's video. I just thought you guys might like to see, even though it's like a little bit different than our normal stuff, I thought you might like to see where some of our things that we pick up on our outings, where they end up in our homes. And it's just such a fun thing to kind of fuss with our spaces and get them the way we like it, just so that they feel good and you wanna spend time in your space. I think that's really important. It's important to me to create a space at home that feels, that just feels good, that makes you want to be here. That's a huge, huge goal of mine. I've got a lot of work to do in this house. Um, we just do it slowly and it just feels good and it's fun. I think it's fun for me when I can do it at my own pace, go a little bit slower instead of trying to fill up the house all at one time. That just isn't a reality for me. So anyway, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed it and we'll have more Christmas stuff coming up for you very soon. Hartley is probably going to be next. So we're going to do a tree in there. I think my mom's going to come help me. It'll be fun. See you guys later. Bye.